Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I wanna to talk about two things. Number one, using video references to improve your animation, and two, thinking about weight when you animate and why it will make your animation so much better. So first, I'm going to animate a stick figure tossing a ball up in the air, because what's more exciting than that? I always like to do the first three or four pages the same, just to kind of give a split second before the movement starts. Okay, starting to bend down. Have him bend at the knees a little bit. That's always good. All right, let's take a look so far. It's always nice to check your animation every few pages or just, or sometimes every page. Uh, I have to admit, it actually looks a little better than I thought it would. Um, I've always kind of been shocked by how um, not good stick figure drawings can be, and yet the animation still basically works. Uh, you'll notice I'm giving the ball an oval shape. Stretching or distorting objects like that can help when something is moving at fast speed. So that's something to play around with, like elongating objects as they're moving quickly. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so I, I wasn't thinking about weight. I didn't look at anything for reference. This dude's just a stick man in a stick figure world with no rules. It's animation anarchy. And it's fine, it's cool, but if you want to take your flipbook animation a step further, go to the next stick man level. Step one is to film yourself acting out the movement. So I'm going to do this again. I'll film myself with my phone acting out the movement I want to animate. Then as I draw, I can scrub through the video forward and backward, frame at a time, and just really study exactly how my body is moving frame by frame. And of course, as I'm, as I'm drawing here, I'm not you know, trying to replicate every frame of the video. This video is 30 frames per second, but I usually flip around, you know, 10-ish frames per second uh, in a flip book. So I just kind of need to analyze like every three frames or so. So you can toggle back and forth between a few frames. Uh, look closely at what's happening. Look at every limb, every joint, and see how they're moving, and then try to translate that into your drawings. One thing you can tell already is that this ball is not heavy at all. You know, when the stickman figure lifts it up, there's no, there's basically no drag. It's just right up and quickly moving up. Again here though, I'm making the ball a bit oval shaped because it's moving quickly. Um, so I do, I want to do this over again because there isn't much of a sense of weight, uh, but it is looking a little better and more realistic than the first version. One reason looking at video reference helps is because you often see things little movements that you never would have expected or realized were there. Uh, you know, you might notice your elbow moves in an odd way or something. And when you can take that little detail that you notice and add that subtlety into your animation, it's, it's just that extra bit that adds to the believability of it. Okay, so this is better than the first one but the ball weighs nothing and um, despite the fact that it's based on a real performance it's just kind of uninteresting so i want to try it again but this time i want to see what happens if i make the ball feel super heavy so i'll act it out again as if the ball were just really heavy and uh and we'll do it again uh, okay same thing here i can kind of scrub through my video frame by frame but this time i'm thinking all about weight and it's it's these little details and these little moments that i think really sell the feeling of weight um, like here, when I grab the ball, I pull, uh, but the ball stays there. And then you see me adjust my stance to get better leverage. So I want to put those things into the animation. You want to have those little pauses, those moments of anticipation and, you know, adjusting. Okay. And then once I get the ball up to chest level, there's this second moment an of anticipation there as I sort of uh, kind of catch and steady the weight of it. Legs are bending. You, you really need to feel those moments. And yeah, that should about do it. Um, let's see how this one turned out. Okay, one word of advice. Think of video reference as a tool, as something to educate and inform your performance, but don't make it a crutch. Okay, if you try to perfectly match your video reference, your animation will only ever reach 90% of its potential. In order to get that extra 10% to make it A plus great, you have to push the performance a little farther than reality, exaggerate it a little more. 
My animation here followed my reference pretty closely, but if I were to push the poses further and exaggerate it more, it would level up again and be much better. And that's something I'll talk about in more detail in another video. So think of something you want to animate in your next flipbook and try filming yourself acting it out. And as you draw, really think about weight. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring today's video. I love listening to audiobooks while I work, and one of my favorites that I want to recommend to you guys is Boy by Roald Dahl. I love Roald Dahl. He's the author of many of my favorite books, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, The Witches, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Boy is an autobiographical account of Roald Dahl's boyhood life, and it's just fascinating and delightful. It's narrated by Dan Stevens, and I can't emphasize enough what a great reader he is. So check it out on Audible or pick another audiobook of your choice. The great thing about Audible is their guarantee. If you don't like an audiobook, you can just swap it for something else. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, for a limited time, you can start an Audible membership and save 66% on your first three months, a total of $30 off. It's like getting three months for the price of one. The offer is valid during the month of July 2019, so head over to audible.com slash andymation or text andymation to 500-500. That's audible.com slash andymation or text andymation to 500-500. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.